Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about cigar box guitars. This is a three string cigar box guitar and you notice that the frets are spaced wider than a normal fretted instrument. You will need one of these to play along with this lesson. There are other cigar box guitars, I will come to them videos in a couple of months time. But for now we'll start with this one. So first of all let's get it tuned. It is tuned G, the string nearest your chin. D, the middle string, and G again on the bottom. This makes a G chord, and we're just strumming down through the strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that is your G chord. To play a song you need two chords, so in this case we need a D chord, and this is quite easy to play. These are frets here. So one finger goes on the first fret of the top G string, and another finger on the first fret of the bottom G string, like that, and that is your D chord. And again you just strum through the strings. So we've got G. D, G, D, G, D, G, D. So when we're doing a G chord, there are no fingers on the fretboard. You can hold the net like this if you wish, but when you do a D chord, it is the first finger of the first fret of the top string and your second finger on the first fret of the bottom G string, like that, and you just strum. So taking it easy, G chord. D, G, D, G, D. G, D. To play most songs you need three chords. We've got a G, we've got a D, so we need a C. The C chord is played like this. The first fret of the middle string and the third fret of the bottom G string, the high G string, like that. And that is your C chord. So it's the first fret of the middle string and the third fret of the high G string. So that's your C chord. So you can go G, C, D, G, G, C, D, G. So again, the C chord is the first fret of the middle string, and the third fret is a bit of a stretch on the high G string, and that is your C chord. So with that, we can start to play a song. So now we'll do the 12 bar blues in the key of G. So for this, we need four bars of G. Each bar has four strums in it, so you go one, two, three, four. First bar, second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. This time you go to a C chord, which is that one again. Two bars of C. Back to G for two bars. One bar of D, that chord. One bar of C. Two bars of G. So we'll run through that again. We need four bars of G with four strums per bar. One, two, three, four. That's the first bar. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. 
C chord. That's the first bar of C. Another bar of C. Two bars of G. That's the first bar. That's the second bar. One bar of D. One bar of C. Two bars of G. I will put the description of the chords down below. For each letter, it is four strums on the guitar, or cigar box guitar. Now we've had a couple of run-throughs of the 12 bar blues, we'll play it all together in one go. So, <clears throat> after four, it's four bars on G. One, two, three, four. That's the first bar. That's the second bar. That's the third bar. That's the fourth bar, C. Back to G. D. C. Two bars of G. That's the first bar. Back around again, G for four bars. C. We always finish on a D, then a G. And that's the speed you can play it at. When you can play that, we'll add a bit more to the strum. Now you can hopefully strum through the 12 bar blues. We'll do a bit more with the right hand with the pick. Instead of going one, two, three, four, this hand's doing nothing, it's just supporting the neck. We're going to pluck the top string, one, two, three, four, one. So you're still strumming, you're, not, you're still counting to four, but not strumming four. You're doing one, two, three, four. So the 12 bar blues now sounds like this. One bar of G. Second bar of G. Third bar of G. Fourth bar of G. You put the C chord on up here. Back to G. One bar of D. One bar of C. Two bars of G. At speed, it sounds like this. Always remember to finish D, then a G. Now we'll add another strum to the cigar box. This time we're going to go back to strumming on the count of four downwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But in the gaps in between we're going to strum up on the ands. One, and two, and three, and four. So all together, it, you get four bars of G. We'll go back to the 12 bar blues. That's the first bar. One and two and three and four and second. That's the third. That's the fourth. Two bars of C, so I'll put a C code up, up here. One and two and three and four and another bar of C. Back to G. Another bar of G. 
one bar of D, one bar of C, two bars of G. So now we'll play that all the way through on the 12 bar blues. The 12 bar blues using that new strum. First bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, that's the C chord, back to G. D, C, and G for two bars. We'll repeat it again, G. This is the third bar. The fourth bar, then C. Back to G. D. C. G. One of the advantages of a cigar box guitar with the frets in this position is you can play melodies at the same time. The low G and the middle D string is enough to make the G chord on itself. We add the high G just to give it a harmony. But what you can do on one of these is any fret you play on the bottom string will be in tune with a G chord. So you can do, so I'm just going to be playing first, second and third. Okay? I'll just be strumming down and up like that. So you can do stuff like this. So any fret you play on the bottom string when you're strumming a G chord will be in tune and you can pick out little melodies. So like you say, I'll just do this on the bottom frets here this time. So while you're strumming G, Rather than this left hand doing nothing, just add fingers off and on the frets and you can create little counter melodies. That's one of the advantages of the frets being spaced out this way. On some cigar box guitar there'd be more frets and you can't do that on that one. But on this one, that's what you can do. There's other things you can do on this cigar box guitar when going from a D to a G chord. This is the D chord. What you can do is you at the first fret, obviously, <coughs> excuse me, you slide up to the second, back to the first, then into G. So anytime you're going from a D to a G chord, you can do. So, we'll go for that again. It, if you do your D chord like that, strum it like that, slide up to the next fret, back to the original position, then into a G chord. So you get... If you're doing it in a bar of a music, you do one, two on the um, D chord. The third, slide up one fret. Slide back for the fourth in D normal position, then into G. So with a rhythm. One and two and three and four and G. 
again. One and two and three and four and G. One and two and three and four and G. And that's things you can do when going from the D to the G chord. As well as playing chords in this position, we can play chords up the neck. So G will leave as it is, because that requires no effort at all. It's just strumming an open string, apart from maybe doing a bit of melody work. Okay? So, C chord is that one. We can also play it at the third fret. This, this is the knot, that thing there, and these are frets. So at the third fret, you play just behind it, I'm going to use one finger and tuck the others underneath so you can see, but if you're playing, don't do that. So that's a C chord now. I personally don't do it that way. I use three fingers in that gap, as you can see, there's three there. That's a C chord. If you move everything up one fret, that's a D chord. So we've got G, C chord at the third fret, slide up one fret, that's your D chord, back to C, and back to G. So you can mix it up so you can go like this. So when you're playing a C chord, you can play it there or there. When you're playing a D chord, there or there. And it gives you much more choice with the instrument. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. Um, we're on Twitter, Facebook and we have a web page obviously. All the information is contained in the link down below. So until next time, keep practicing, keep playing, goodbye. Hello and welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about cigar box guitars. If you've seen the beginner video, this is just a few more things you can do on the cigar box guitar to make your playing a bit more melodic and interesting for the listener. So let's get started. As you know, we tune G, D, G. Now, if you strum with me, one, two. And then on the third, this is from when you're going from a G to a C chord. You strum open string, I'm not playing the frets. One, two. Then on the first fret on the three. Of the second fret on the fourth. And then going to a C chord. It's a nice transition. Did you hear that? Rather than just go. can do this little transition when it goes something like this. So one, two, this is going from a G to a C chord. One, two, like that. First fret on the three, second fret on the fourth, then into a C chord at speed. So we'll go for that again. Normal G chord. One, and two and first fret three and sec fourth on the fourth beat the second fret four and then into a C chord so it's one and two and three and four and 
two and three and four and again very slowly one and two and three and four and C and that's a little transition from going from the G to a C chord and of course you can do the reverse so you're playing a C chord here you do one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so do a C chord take this finger off and put the that one back one fret straighten that one out to cover both then a G chord we'll go for that again so we've got a C chord like that you do one and two and take your little finger off and use your ring finger for the second three and flatten your first finger to cover both of them strings four and then a G chord So you got G, so from C to a G. We'll go for that again. So you do a C chord like that, and you strum one and two and take your little finger off and use your ring finger at the second. Three and take this finger off and it's them two strings at the first four and then a G chord again bit of swing And that's how you can go from a C to a G chord. Now you can go from a G to a C chord and a C to a G chord. We can add a bit more variance to it, this time using the right hand. So we're going from a G to a C chord again, so it's that motion. So instead you can, you can strum it 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and C. Or you can mix the strums up, you can go 1 and 2 and 3, 4, C. This time I'm just doing a louder, a down strum on the 3 and the 4. Again, G, nothing on the frets. And 2 and, then you go 3, 4, C. So you've got a G chord, one and two and three, four, C chord. At speed. Again. So although I'm not doing the upstroke, this hand is still keeping that river moving up and down. And we can do it as well going from the C to the G. This time we're going to go from the C to the G using the similar strumming pattern we did from G to C. So you've got your C chord on like that and you do one and two and change fingers at the second fret with your ring finger, three, flatten both of these at the first, four, G. Go for that again. So it's on a C chord. One and two and three, four, G. One and two and three, four, G. G C chord to C to a G chord.
and you can add emphasis using that then oh it just adds a little bit more to the playing rather than just continually going Now we can play a few chords and do a few fancy things with the left hand. Let's focus on the right, because this is where all the rhythm comes from. I am not playing any chords with this hand, I'm merely supporting the neck, so there's nothing there. Basically, this is how you can count your strums. You can go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Then you can go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and... Now it's the same count, you're just fitting a strum in extra. So if you count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three. You don't have to do it in bars, you can mix it up, you can go one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and... Or, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three... Or the other way around. Choice in 4-4 four is up to you, you can do whatever you please, it's important you don't stop the strum, the strum must be constant, whether it's that, or... So other things you can do with the strum, you can make the first one going down louder than the rest, like this, this hand again is just supporting the neck. Do it on the one and the three. One. And do everything else in between. If you want to add a calypso feel to the strum. This is what you do, you do one and two and, you miss the three going down and four and. So it's the same as going one and two and three and four and, but you miss the three going down, but you must count the rhythm in your head. So if we was counting that, it's one and two and three and four and one and two and, and four and one and two and, and four and one and two and, and four and... To add a bit more to your strums, you don't have to strum all the strings all the time. You can just tap the top string. Do. So on this time, I'm on the one, one, forgetting the and coming up, two and three and four and two and three and four.
Or you can do the one and the three. One, two, and three. choice is really yours. Um, that creates like a drone string, that means a note that's constantly going and does work on these cigar box guitars, it adds that nice sound to them that people have. So we can go one, two, one, three, four, one. So we're tapping the top string on the, the low G string, one, two, and three. So there's lots of things you can do in 4-4. Four, four. So we'll go for some of the basics. You can just, this hand's just supporting the neck. Or the Calypso one. Most songs you will play are in 4-4, four, four. that's 4 beats to the bar, 1, 2, 3, 4. But occasionally you will do songs in 3-4, three, that's 3 beats to the bar, So or waltz time as some of you may know. So again we're just staying on a G chord. For a waltz strum you can just tap the top string, 1, 1, 2, 3, so tapping on the 1. Then two, three going down. <clears throat> one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or you can strum upwards like this. Tap on the top string. So go for that again, you tap up the string on the one, then two, three going down, one, two, three, or one tap and up two, three. I tend to use the down one for this reason, you can do stuff like this. And I just find it a bit easier. So for that strum, this is a more... Um, Vienna type strum, the Viennese type of strum, it's got a bit more swing to it. So you tap on the one, then two and three and. So together it's tap, down, up, down, up. To the count of one, two and three and. One, two and three. how you can do the strums. If I'm being honest, most of you will only ever play in 4-4 four, four or 3-4. Four. They're the most common time signatures. So, I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. For more information on Blackpool Music School, follow the link down below. It has links to our Twitter pages, Facebook pages and of course our web page. Until next time, keep playing, keep practicing and goodbye.
Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the cigar box guitar. If you've seen the previous videos, you will find this one a bit easier. I'll still go through the basics with you, but this is to play what some people will call the 1950s, 60s chord progression on the cigar box guitar. The chords will be a bit more stretchy this time, but I'm sure you'll be okay. As you know, this is tuned G, D, G. And that creates a G chord. But to make it a more rounded G chord, we're going to place our ring finger at the second fret. These are frets, that's the nut, remember? There. And that makes it a G chord. So we've now got that G chord there. We need an E minor now which is the first fret of the middle D string and the second fret of the low G string. So that's first fret of the D string, second fret of the low G string. Keeping that first finger where it is, you switch over to the C chord, which is there. So that's your E minor. Then you switch over like that to your C. Then you go around to your D chord. So all together you get G. E minor. D. G. E minor. C. D. And for this we're just drumming down one and two and three and four and to vary the G you can take that finger off and on there like this. If you wish. But for now we'll do this way. G. E minor. C. D. G. E minor. C. D. At speed. So G, E minor, C, D, so go off again, that is your G chord, second fret, of the high G string. Strum one and two and three and four and your E minor chord is that one. First fret of the D string, second fret of the low G string. Then the C chord which is that one which we covered in previous videos. Then a D chord. And that's the chord progression used in lots and lots of songs, particularly ballads from the 1950s and 60s. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. The link is down below. So until next time, keep playing, keep practicing, and goodbye.